Welcome to episode 124 of the Radio Control Show. Sponsored by AmyandHobbies.com, your one-stop RC hobby store. This week, our West Coast crew, John Kerry and Brent Figgy are here in the office. Let's jump over to John who has this week's 60 second tip. Thanks, Kevin. This week's tip is all about ride height. Ride height can play a crucial part in how your car will work both on the track or off the track with your bash around with friends in the backyard. Ideally, the best thing you want to get for adjusting a ride height is a ride height gauge, which you can get from various RC sources, hobby stores, all that kind of good stuff. You want to start off with getting a nice clean surface that's level. Make sure that your car has all of its running gear on board. Set the car, compress the suspension a few times, and then slide the gauge underneath the car. Set the gauge's height to the manufacturer's recommended suggestions. If you don't happen to have the gauge, you can still use the same flat surface you started off with, have all the gear inside the car, compress the suspension a few times, sight the car from front to back, and you want to check to see if your dog bones in the rear are level and your camber links up front are level as well. That will be the best way to check your ride height. Last weekend, Model Airplane News' Jerry Arish attended the 45th Annual RC Jamboree at the Old Rhinebeck Aerodrome in New York. Hosted by the Mid-Hudson Radio Control Society Club, this event blends all the fun of scale World War I and Golden Age era RC planes with the excitement of a full-scale vintage aviation air show. Let's head on over to Jerry. Thanks, Hope. I'm here at the 45th Annual RC Jamboree at the Old Rhinebeck Aerodrome in uh, Rhinebeck, New York. And I have to tell you, this is a magical place. It's full of vintage and antique airplanes, and it's just amazing what you see here. There's full size taking off and landing all day. The modelers here, they're all friendly and have all sorts of airplanes from World War I all the way up to the classics. We have Steermans, we have Fokers, we have Spads and everything in between. So it looks like it's going to be a great day. So let's take a look and see what we have down the flight line. One of the things you want to do, whether it be a LiPo battery pack or nickel metal hydride pack in your vehicle, is always unplug it when you're done using the vehicle. If you leave it plugged in, through time, the circuitry and a lot of electronics will actually draw voltage from your battery pack, and with LiPo battery packs, if they get below a certain voltage, it can ruin it. Um, yes, they do have a LiPo cutoff when it's on and everything's working properly, but when it's shut off, just draining voltage, there's no LiPo shutoff. So you can end up ruining your battery pack. So always disconnect your battery when you're done. When you go to store your LiPo battery pack, you want to make sure you store it at half voltage. So if you just charged up your pack and you're pretty much done running, well, go ahead and put it in your car, run it for a little while, just to lower the voltage a bit before you put it away. It's much safer that way. A Main Hobbies, the biggest selection of remote control cars, trucks, planes, and helicopters. Want parts and accessories? A-Main Hobbies has what you need. Visit us at amainhobbies.com or call 800-705-2215. Get it all at A-Main Hobbies. Leave your competition in the dirt. The Lockheed Martin F-A-22 Raptor Jet Fighter is the latest U.S. Air Force frontline aircraft using stealth technology. With more than 170 in service, the Raptor is the go-to weapon when America's air defenses are called into action. 
This RC version uses easy to build sheet foam construction and has amazing maneuverability thanks to its thrust vectoring prop motor setup. For info on how to build your own Raptor, head to modelairplanews.com. The plans are also on sale at airhstore.com. What I have here are two LRP SXX speed controls. One of them, stock spec version. The other one is the TC spec version. Now these are very similar speed controls. They look almost identical. They program the same and they have a lot of the same profiles. Big difference is stock spec is optimized for stock racing. Whether you're running 17.5 or 13.5, you can run it in the zero timing profile, get that flashing light to get you through tech inspection very easily, or you can run it on the higher aggressive timing modes as well, get your car flying down that straightaway really fast. Now, if you're running modified classes, the TC spec would probably be a better choice for you. Whether it's mod touring car, mod four wheel drive, you can run all the way down to a three turn motor with this and it won't have any issues. These both very capable speed controls. Take your piloting to the next level with our new Precision Aerobatics book from the editors of Model Airplane News. This full color book is all you need to learn the ins and outs of basic takeoffs, straight lines and landings, as well as complex 3D moves. Be sure to look for Precision Aerobatics at your local hobby shop or online at airagestore.com. The November issue of RC Car Action is on sale now and on the cover is Traxxas' new Captain's Curse Monster Truck. I've taken this truck on a lot of different surfaces and it's a great time and great for beginners. Let's check it out. Remember to head to your local hobby shop or newsstand for the November issues of Radio Control Car Action and Model Airplane News. You can also check out rccaraction.com and modelairplanenews.com for everything we covered this week. Thanks again for joining us on the Radio Control Show. And we'll see you next time. This week from Ron Burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is awesome. I don't need that, all right? Oh, Jeez. I just... Uh, so close. I, I was like there. Why'd you look at me funny? I didn't look at you. What? Funny. Why are you doing? Oh, Stop it. Goodness. Thanks, Kevin. This week's tip is all about ride height. Maybe you don't, maybe not realize this, but uh, I'm gonna redo this again. <laughs> <laughs> Stay classy, Kevin. Hope. What is ride height?